It's a scene that plays out in college towns across America. A student orders pizza, and it's delivered a short time later. The difference here is that no one's driving this car. The Domino's heat wave container is open. At least that's what the pizza buyers believe. I just got a call after my order, like, your order will be delivered by a driverless car. I'm like, oh, exciting, I want to see that. <laughs> Domino's and Ford are teaming up to see if customers will warm to the idea of pizza delivered by autonomous vehicles. Delivery is a really important part of who we are, and autonomous vehicles are a technology that's coming. So it's really important that we understand how this new upcoming technology is going to impact our business in the future. Ford, which plans to introduce a fully driverless vehicle in 2021, Input the last four digits of your phone number. also wants to understand the kinds of scenarios for which companies would use it. The Domino's heat wave container is open. You can safely... So the automaker worked with Domino's to set up the experiment in the pizza company's hometown of Ann Arbor, Michigan sending out on deliveries a fusion hybrid autonomous research vehicle, complete with LIDAR, radar, and camera sensors. A Ford engineer sits behind the wheel of the fusion, oh my gosh. but the front windows are blacked out so customers won't interact with him. They can track the vehicle using GPS all the way to their location, and then they walk out to the car. Hello. Yay. Okay, what are the last four digits of mommy's phone number? They enter in the four digit code and basically it reveals this pizza compartment opens and uh, pizza is there and they take their pizza and they walk away. Test subject Teresa Hatcher says she sees value in the technology. I think it would be cool, It'd probably be safer um, to a certain extent in the future. I know there's a lot more research that needs to be done, but that could be one of the benefits. The experiment is designed to give insights into how customers interact with a self-driving car. Will customers come out to the car? Do they want to actually come out and retrieve their own pizza? Are they willing to go through the process of typing in a digit? Do they understand it? Is it really clear? What are the other what ifs? Like what other kind of things can happen? Now that the six week long testing period has run its course, the companies say they'll dig through the data before making a call about the future of driverless pizza deliveries. Right. Mike Householder, Associated Press, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Have a delicious day. Have a delicious day.